You have such pretty hair. It gets lost. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is... Refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Seems like those two are getting along. He seems like an all right dude. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. 
How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Well, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun!
worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a one of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey. What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. 
Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> <Come and> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. 
Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Haley really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's 
not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those... Things out there. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good.
leads to the back alley. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Talk about your family. Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. 
Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Find your bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. What I figured. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks.
So I'll melt it now. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Shit. Get down! any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Let's have a look around. 